whatever you wish and it will be given to you praise the lord the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus heart you welcome to this thunder of god episode today i would like to share with you about the importance of preaching the gospel in the bible more than 1500 times the lord god uses this word go 1513 times so it's very very important for each one of us to take this word seriously in the gospel of mark chapter 1 verse 35 following there jesus was praying alone and after a few hours peter and companions hunted for him when they met jesus they said to him lord everyone is searching for you then jesus said to them please listen mark chapter 1 verse 38 he answered let us go on to the neighboring towns so that i may proclaim the message there also for that is what i came out to do so jesus came to this world to proclaim the gospel jesus came to this world to preach the good news that's why when he started his public ministry gospel of luke chapter 4 we all know verse 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free see jesus saying that the spirit of the lord is upon him and he has come to preach the gospel to give release to the captives and jesus did it and jesus really wants his disciples to do the same he has given us his holy spirit for that but now when we study the bible we learn that the disciples many times they had lack of faith they had lack of faith and stubbornness of heart when you start preaching the gospel your faith will increase Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's why in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, Jesus is rebuking the disciples because of their lack of faith and stubbornness of heart. After rebuking them, Jesus gives them this command: Go, oh, go to the entire world and preach the good news. Please listen. Later, he appeared to the eleven themselves. as they were sitting at the table and he upbraided them for their lack of faith and stubbornness because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen and he said to them go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so this is very very important to all the christians when we became christians we have got this mission to go and preach the gospel it is not an option it is mandatory it is compulsory if you don't do this you are not a christian that's why pope paul the 6th in his powerful encyclical letter he says the church exists for evangelization proclamation of christ jesus will really help 
the human persons to grow in their development hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus maria sisters and brothers saint paul a great evangelist in his heart of heart the lord had given him this great desire to preach the gospel to all the creation not only to his native people to the gentiles to the entire world the gospel in his letter to the romans chapter 1 verse 14 and 15 saint paul says please listen to him i am a debtor both to greeks and to barbarians <coughs> both to the wise and to the foolish hence my eagerness to proclaim the gospel to you also who are in rome you see saint paul says an obligation has been imposed upon me that's why i am obliged to preach the gospel to the wise to the greeks to the gentiles to the barbarians he says i am obliged to preach the gospel to all over the world and in his first letter to the corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 he says woe to me if i do not preach the gospel because an obligation has been imposed upon me i think each christian has this obligation yes only when we when we start to share our relationship with christ to others we will grow in love we will grow in our christian life pope benedict 16 once said to the young people in a world youth day gathering he said the most beautiful thing in the world is to share my relationship with the christ to others that is the most beautiful thing in the world sharing your relationship with the christ jesus to others don't be ashamed of that don't be ashamed to speak about jesus romans chapter 1 verse 16 st paul says i am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of god the gospel of christ is the power of god for salvation don't be ashamed of the gospel and god has decided to save the humanity through the proclamation of the gospel which is foolishness to the gentiles and to the greeks but it is salvation for all those who believe when i read the first letter of st paul to the corinthians chapter 1 the entire chapter beautifully explains the importance of preaching the folly of the cross so through the preaching of the foolishness of the cross or the gospel the lord will save the human people my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus a few months ago a 20 year old boy he came to attend a spiritual renewal program he he was a lapsed catholic for many years addicted to alcohol drugs gambling everything never satisfied in his life not going for job depressed anyway the lord brought him and he heard the preaching of the gospel and after hearing the word of god he came to me and said father now only i realized that abortion is a sin i never knew no one has taught me then he said father i got i got freedom from my addictions to gambling to drug from drugs i am a child of god and i saw the joy in his face again he said to me father nobody had told me about the love of christ before so my dear sisters and brothers god has decided 
to save the humanity through the proclamation of the gospel because there is power in the gospel hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah my dear sisters and brothers i am working in the uk now for 6 years and the lord had given me this conviction that only through proclamation of the gospel the lord can save the human human kind because that is the plan of god and one day while i was praying the lord gave me a strong inspiration that the lord will re-evangelize the european countries through children and young adults and the lord said to me you have to arrange spiritual renewal programs or preaching the gospel focusing on teenagers and young adults and by god's grace lords of lay missionaries started to help me in the ministry and we started preaching the gospel and the lord started to work with us many people came to know the deep love of christ many people they really experienced the tangible love of christ and they came back to the lord praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus pope francis said if the church doesn't evangelize the church becomes a mere babysitter the church becomes a mother only if she preaches the gospel and if she gives birth to new children so my dear sisters and brothers it is our duty to preach the gospel and baptism is enough pope francis said you don't need a long formation only one thing is needed that is you should really know the redemptive love of christ that is enough no need of a long formation if you have really experienced the love of christ that was shown on the cross of calvary you are eligible to preach the gospel let us pray abba father we pray in jesus name to you for your holy spirit with our own human capacity lord we know that we can't do this but lord we all have received your spirit lord the holy spirit is in us but we don't we don't use the gift of the spirit the holy spirit really wants to use us but holy spirit we have failed in seeking your help lord we ask you for your strength and power we need you lord we need you send us o oh lord send us o oh lord glory down lord holy spirit down lord pour it down your spirit on me we need your spirit o oh lord pour it out lord holy spirit pour it out lord holy spirit pour it out your spirit on me Jesus said go and preach the good news Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord for loving me
you went to Calvary, there you died for me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. From the grave to me, you life you gave. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Jesus, you rose up from the grave to me, you life you gave. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Jesus, we are in front of you, Lord. We remember the words of the psalmist. Those who looked at him became radiant. Jesus, we look to you, Lord. We offer all our sufferings, all our happiness to you. You know everything. Jesus, you are seeing our heart and our minds. Yes, Lord. Jesus, we pray for your touch and healing, both physical and emotional healing. My dear sisters and brothers, offer all your worries to Jesus because he said, I will never forsake you. I will never abandon you. Jesus, he is here. He wants to touch you. If you are sick, surrender your sickness to Jesus. And with faith you pray. Prayer of the faith is very powerful. Lord Jesus, I pray for your people. Jesus, you are compassionate and loving God. We believe in you, Jesus. Lord, Stretch out your hands and touch the people, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord, if anyone is under the darkness. Lord, give them your light. Jesus. 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 Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Yes, Lord. And I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will.